Hola subscribers, it's me Vivs here from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm going to talk about this. Take a look at the screen. We have four buttons inside activity A and there is a linear layout which is the parent. If I click somewhere on the linear layout, the four buttons explode and activity B comes into the picture. But take a look at the way it came on the screen. It was animated and that is a content transition and if I click back now it eliminates activity B and brings back activity A by applying the animations in the reverse order and in this video I will teach you how to do this with content transitions in Android if you go to my channel slide nerd under playlist we are currently stuck in material design where in the previous video I told you how to use activity transitions and what is the basic concept behind it in this video let's dig further as I discussed in the previous video content transitions are used when you want to go from one activity to another and you know very well that you don't want anything common in between them like say an image view or a button so there's a nice post here by lucaster.org which explains how transitions work so like I said previously the simplest way to understand is that you capture start values then you capture end values between two scenes and you try to create an animator based on the differences. So this post explains very detailed in a nice way what happens with all these things and what is the code behind it. And coming back to the other post which we saw in the previous video as well which is by Alex Lockwood where he talks about content transitions in depth. And here he has exactly told you the four methods that you're going to use in this video as well. And I don't have to explain because he has given it pretty good. And going down further, how and what happens when you start content transitions in Android. The whole process about what happens in activity A, what happens in activity B is explained very nicely here by Alex Lockwood. And as such, you should take a read at this because if I try to explain this, it's going to be reading plain old English. So let's get back to our code in studio and try to get one of these transitions to work. First, we got to add transitions in our app. The way we do that is either through code or XML. In the last video, I showed you how to do that with code. Today, let's do this with XML. I'm going to add an item here, which will be called Android Window Content Transitions. And I will set that to true. If you take a look at the documentation for material design, you will notice that they also say the same thing. Enable window content transitions with this attribute when you define a style that inherits from material theme. Now I tried something by putting this attribute in pre lollipop that is the styles.xml and styles v19.xml. It gives an error on both of them. The next thing that you want to do is add another item which would be called window transition background fade duration and we are going to set this to 5000 milliseconds. Now if you are not sure what this attribute means. You're always welcome to Google it the way I do. So this attribute is present inside the window class as far as the documentation is concerned. It says the duration in milliseconds of the window background fade when transitioning into or away from an activity when called with an activity transition. I did notice one thing though with this attribute and without this attribute the transition looks a bit different and we will get to that. Going to the next part that would be inside our activity underscore a dot xml. Here, we would like to add a transition so that we can start activity B with that transition. As you know very well, A is going to exit, B is going to enter and when the user presses back button, B is going to execute the return transition whereas A is going to re-enter. So we are going to set an exit transition for activity A to jump to B. And this time I'm going to use XML to create transition. So going to RES here, I can simply say new Android resource file. I will call this transition underscore a and the resource type is going to be a transition now it's not a transition manager I want what I want is a transition set once I do that click ok add the file to get yes and now I can go here and add whatever transitions I want for example I can say explode here and that's all you need to do you can add a fade here and what's going to happen is that all the transitions that are going to be placed here will be played together I want to customize the duration of our transition. We can do that easily by setting an Android duration of 5000 milliseconds here. And I also want to customize the interpolator, which is going to be interpolator accelerate decelerate for my case. So once we are done with this, 
all we have to do is go back to activity underscore a and before I call set content view right here I'm going to add an if condition to check if the build is greater or equal to lollipop if that is the case I want to inflate the transition underscore a file the way I do that is to get a reference to transition inflator and I can simply say transition inflator just like your layout inflator equals to transition inflator dot from which would be this in this case now I'll say inflator dot inflate the transition which is r dot transition dot transition underscore a I'm going to assign this to a transition variable here and I will set my exit transition for activity a by saying get window dot set exit transition and I will pass this variable here in other words whenever our activity a is going to exit it's going to play the explode and fade together going down further inside the on click attribute what I want to do is start our activity B normally you would construct an intent by saying start activity new intent over here where you would say this and activity B dot class but here we want to add one more piece of code to kind of tell activity B what is happening with respect to the transitions the way we do that is to use the other constructor if you take a look at the start activity method it has one more optional parameter here called bundle options and we are going to use this parameter so going about we are going to construct an object of something called activity options compat and we're going to say make scene transition animation here we are going to pass the name or reference to our activity which would be this in our case second is going to be the name or the list of shared elements now this is a content transition there are no shared elements over here so we're going to simply pass null here and that's it this is going to give us an object of activity options compat if you take a look at the documentation for activity options or activity options compat which is a back port version of this it says helper class to build or an options bundle that can be used with start activity in other words it lets you do certain things like set up transitions make some kind of scaling animation custom animation and stuff like that so going back to our code here we are going to pass this options compat and we're going to convert that to a bundle by saying dot to bundle now this ensures that we are going to set up a transition to work while we are moving from activity a to b at the same time inside activity B we need to make sure that transitions work here as well so a similar process is going to happen here we are going to have an if condition inside activity B where this time we are going to construct a slide transition by saying slide slide equals to new slide we're going to set the duration for that slide as 5000 now the reason we are setting an animation here is remember when you enter B you want to animate how the items are going to appear inside B and that is what this animation does or this transition does which is simply called get window dot set enter transition where we are going to set slide over here so at this point our work is done entirely while exiting activity a we want this transition to happen while entering activity b we want this transition to happen let's run the app and find out if it's working or not so now when i go to my menu and go to activity calling here all i have to do is click on this layout somewhere and that is going to trigger the explode and fade and bring in the slide animation of activity B now notice that when I click back here this is going to go in reverse and bring back our activity A so this is how content transitions work now right now I have not set a re-enter or, or a return transition which is why the enter and exit transitions are playing in reverse however I can change that by setting a custom transition for those two as well now with a slight modification I have set the re-enter transition for activity A which controls what happens when the user sees the activity A for another time after pressing the back button and I set the duration as 5000 and the transition itself as slide to go to activity B I have somewhat reversed what I did here in get window dot set return transition which is triggered when I press back button on activity B I have used a transition inflator and inflated our transition underscore A file over here let's take a look at all those four methods in action first I click on the view group the exit transition is triggered for a the enter is triggered for B and now when I press the back button the return transition for B is going to be triggered which is I think explode and fade 
whereas the re-entered transition for A is going to be triggered, which is going to be slide. And yeah, that is the slide transition which we set up over here. So that means all our four transitions are working perfectly. So with this, I have covered a basic example of content transitions. I would like to know from you guys what transitions you have managed to make on your own. And in fact, share some of that code with me as well, because I would love to see what you guys do out there. All the code that I've covered in this video is there on GitHub slash slide notes slash material test, which is the repository that gets updated currently. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.